But uh, that said, uh, I'd like to add that any, say, potential bilateral agreement between any country and Afghanistan uh, is uh, certainly uh, subject to a bilateral negotiation, uh, has to be uh, discussed with the Afghan government, with the Afghan parliament, with the Afghan people. And, uh, and this is uh, clearly something that is not uh, within the remit of, uh, of ISAF or NATO. So, um, you know, ISAF and NATO policy as uh, described, and then there is potentially any, any bilateral um, uh, business, but this is not uh, up to me to comment. Uh, اونا خواستار ایجاد پایگاه دائمی در افغانستان میباشه و یک چیز دیگه است که بالاخره باید اون مسئله با خود پارلمان افغانستان با دولت افغانستان و با مردم افغانستان شریک ساخته شو و از اونا توافق در این مورد حاصل شو که بالاخره اونا میخواهم خواستار ایجاد پایگاه دائمی در افغانستان هستن یا نیستن که این مربوط خود دو طرف میشه که دو طرف که بالاخره میخواه که پایگاه نظامی دائمی در افغانستان باشه و ما در رابطه با ولی بر اساس پلیسی خود ناتو و ایساف all right. Any other question, please? Yes. Commission <laughs> و همچنان رئیس جمهور محکوم کرد کشه شدن پنجا غیر نظامی در طرف نیروهای خارجی و همچنان شما گفتید که ما در صدد ایجاد پایگاه های نظامی همیشگی نظامی در افغانستان نیستیم هرچند رئیس جمهور میگه که مقامات امریکایی خواستار ایجاد چنین پایگاه های در افغانستان شدن Uh, although I, I arrived a little bit later, but uh, my first question refers to uh, uh, Connor incident. The, the Afghan government uh, they have uh, just established a commission. The, uh, this commission is uh, responsible to. Uh, to search and investigate on allegations yeah. of civilian casualties yeah. in Kunan province, that uh, uh, there has been 50, uh, there have been 50 people were killed. Mm -hmm. So on the other hand, the person who said he also uh, strongly condemned this incident. He said that the foreign forces have killed 50 people there, civilians actually. So uh, if you could give me comments on that, and yeah. my second question refers to uh, uh, again to the other question that the other colleague just asked on um, establishment of um, permanent military base here in Afghanistan. You just mentioned that we are not willing to have permanent military bases here in Afghanistan. But on the other hand, President Mohammed Karzai, he is quoting that uh, the U.S. forces, the U.S. side, they have requested the Afghan government that they are willing to have permanent military bases here in Afghanistan. So what's your comment on that? And uh, the, the last point that I would like to just add on my quote on establishment of permanent base in Afghanistan, that do you really think that establishment of uh, permanent military base in Afghanistan would be effective or not? All right. Um, yeah, thank you for uh, coming back to that very important issue uh, in Kuna. I just answered the question of your colleague a couple of min uh, minutes ago in, in great detail. I just, you know, suggest to um, to talk one on one right after the press conference in order you know uh, to save some time um, and i will give you all the details uh, i just uh, explained a minute ago is that okay خب فقط پیش از میومدن خودت می سوال یکی از همکارای شما کرده بود ما بسیار با جزئیات بیشتر این را جواب دادم برشان و با خاطر اینکه که تایم وقت چیز کرده باشیم ما میشه باز در آخر پرس کنفرانس امرای شما دو با دو باز چیز شما و جزیات مکمل در آتا بای واقعه ما برای شما میگید درست است؟ All right, thank you. So we'll do that right after the press conference again. Um, 
On the uh, issue of permanent bases, um, again, as I said, you know, NATO ISAF is, uh, is not planning for permanent bases in Afghanistan. Um, uh, let me try to explain what 2014 means. Uh, until the end of 2014, um, we will uh, transfer the lead responsibility for security in this country to the Afghan security forces. But even beyond 2014, there will be a long-term enduring partnership between the international community and ISAF and Afghanistan on the other side, as declared, as agreed upon during the NATO summit in Lisbon in November. And President Kazai and Secretary General Rasmussen uh, for NATO signed this declaration. So in 2014, the campaign will not end. In 2014, the campaign will change from a more combat-heavy role to a more training and mentoring nature. But this has nothing to do with permanent military bases uh, in this country. So it will stay on here for a while, but this is not meant to be a permanent basing uh, of NATO and ISAF. We are not looking for permanent bases here. And any other potential bilateral agreement, uh, again, you know, and, and you mentioned the example of the United States of America, is subject to negotiations between that country, whichever it is, and Afghanistan and the Afghan government. Uh, but uh, but uh, the 